Yeah. All right, we'll get back to the kitchen in just a little bit. But right now, for those parents who may worry that their child's learning differences could potentially limit them in any way in life, we've got a guest with us today who is living proof that kids can succeed despite learning disabilities. Here with us is Dr. Kara Sander von Dresner, who was diagnosed with dyslexia and dysgraphia yet went on to graduate from Harvard with a doctorate in clinical psychology and is pursuing her MBA now from Johns Hopkins starting in the fall. So congratulations to you for all Good of your morning. success. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. Thanks for being with us. You know, we talked with our friends from Chesapeake Bay Academy, and I know that you brought you on today. We talked to them all the time about what can be done for children who simply learn differently, but it's not often that we get to... You know, if this were a cooking show, we'd pull out the done product, you yeah. know, and say this is what can happen. So thanks so much for coming in and telling your story. My pleasure. Some folks may not know what dysgraphia is and what mm -hmm. it's like to have both dyslexia and dysgraphia. Mm -hmm. What did that mean for you as a student? So dyslexia is basically difficulty reading. Mm -hmm. So you can transpose letters, words, words jump around on the page. It's, you know, you read for a while and then can't remember what you read. Right. And dysgraphia is difficulty writing. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult to read the writing, um, but it can also actually hurt your hands. And mm -hmm. a lot of teachers, when they have a kid that has sloppy writing, just assume that the kid isn't trying hard enough, that they yeah. want to get to the playground. Yeah. Um, and kids often cannot articulate the struggle that they're having. Absolutely. So what do parents and teachers need to know? And you just made a good point. You sure. know, first thing, to not, not judge it as, as lazy. Sure. But when they see that messy writing, what are the questions they should ask or the things that they should investigate or let the parents know that they should talk to a doctor about? Sure. Well, the messy writing is actually a clue. Um, if you have a child that's writing God instead of dog or can't write as well as other kids in the class or if you explain something to them, they're able to understand it, but if they read it, they don't understand it as well. Mm -hmm. um, those are all symptoms that there may be something wrong. If you mm -hmm. have a really, really smart kid and you know your kid is smart, and parents know their children, mm -hmm. um, and they're just not performing the way they should or they don't want to go to school or they're anxious about going to school, mm -hmm. then take them to a psychologist. Take them, contact the school counselor. Um, Chesapeake Bay Academy has an assessment program that will yeah. be open through the summer. Um, and just get a baseline. Mm -hmm. What do you think was key in helping you overcome your struggles? Um, what was key? Teachers, it was, you parents. Know, it was interesting. I had, I'm in an odd situation. My mother was a teacher, so mm -hmm. she knew something was wrong. And I have a brother who is tremendously academic. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can read a book in 20 minutes and, wow. you know, went to Harvard when he was 16. He must have had, he must have been a lot of fun to have around for you. Right. When you were right. struggling right. with those right. issues, like, oh, great. But because of him, I found other things that I was good at. Yeah. Um, and so I had never even tried to concentrate on being an academic student and, mm -hmm. you know, focused more on friends and sports and gardening and stuff like this. Yeah. So to I, maintain that self-esteem. Right. Which is the struggle for so many kids. We yes. were talking a little bit before the interview. We've had a couple of just horrific cases of bullying, um, specifically toward kids who have differences, disabilities. Sure. disabilities, and, you know, things they have zero control over. So right. what, would, what encouragement would you give those kids? You know, there's that nationwide, very popular, it's get, it gets better, you know, yeah. campaign. Yeah. It, it does get better. And the reason it gets better is that we find strengths in those disabilities. Mm -hmm. So if you have a child that's ADHD that's watching a million things at once, they're going to be an amazing stockbroker. They're going to be able to, you know, watch the NASDAQ as it goes and answer the phone and call their client and, you know, type an email. So my advice to children that are having issues in the classroom would be to focus on their actual strength mm -hmm. and also to tell their parents if there's, if they really studied for a, a test and they got a C and they felt like they should have gotten an A to let their parents know, to let their teacher know, because the adults have to differentiate between a child that got a C because they didn't prepare or a yeah. child that got a C and should have gotten an A-plus for their preparation. And hopefully they can. I mean, sure. we know many teachers are so overtasked. They've got so many students, so many yeah, little it's, people it's to look, at, look over. It's difficult for psychologists. Yeah. We have really, really specific tests yep. in neuropsychology, and um, we need a lot, of, a lot of help identifying which diagnosis to give so all right so if you're a parent who's kind of feeling you've got that spider sense like you said you know your child yes. and you feel and like parents your child, know 
Yeah. Let's know. So follow your gut. Don't let folks talk you out of it or yes. say, oh, give it time, give it time. Uh, sorry, that's probably a little too much opinion here. But seek out somebody <laughs> like Dr. Kara or even, you know, at Chesapeake Bay Academy, they have the whole assessment center. It doesn't mean an, a commitment to attending the school, but they no. can at least help you with the assessment process. Point you in the right direction. Yeah. Let's and they're open to everybody. Let some experts take a, take a good look at your child, take the pressure off. Uh, they do have the summer learning program as well as that diagnostic assessment program all summer long. For more information, you can call CBA at 497-6200 or log on to CBA-VA. Org. Kara, thanks so much for coming Thank on. You so and congratulations much for on all your success. Thank and you. And glad you're going into psychology. You'll help a lot of kids. Thank you.